neutrality of money neutrality of money means money's effect is neutral in the economy is idea that uh, changes in the money variables do not affect real variables like output employment real interest rate etc so according to the classicals uh, they believe money variables move in proportion to changes in the quantity of money while real variables such as gnp employment real wage rate real consumption real rate of interest remain unaffected okay appo ivrade classicals ne sambandhichidathodum money ude effect ennu parney kenja neutrality aanu so avare oru feature enna engena aanu money is act as a medium of exchange adile approulla oru feature allengil oru function of money ke koduthittilla it's only for a medium of exchange appo idinagathu neutrality of money aanu nammal parney vechittullathu neutrality of money appo nominal factors ne mathramaana ee money ude effect undayirikkullu മണിയിൽ എന്തെങ്കിലും സപ്ലൈയിൽ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ കോണ്ടിറ്റിൽ അതൊക്കെ ചേഞ്ചസ് വരികയാണെങ്കിൽ നോമിനൽ വേരിയബിൾസ് ചേഞ്ചസ് അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു ദ ചേഞ്ചസ് ഹാപ്പൻസ് ഇൻ ദ ക്വാണ്ടിറ്റി ഓഫ് മണി വൈൽ ദ റിയൽ വേരിയബിൾസ് അത് റിയൽ വേരിയബിൾസിൽ നമ്മളിവിടെ പറഞ്ഞു വന്നു ജി എൻ പി എംപ്ലോയ്മെൻറ്റ് റിയൽ വേജ് റേറ്റ് റിയൽ കൺസംഷൻ റിയൽ റേറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റ് ആർ ഓൾവേസ് റിമെയിൻ അൺഎഫക്റ്റഡ് ഓക്കെ അപ്പോൾ സപ്ലൈ ഓഫ് മണി ഈസ് നമ്മൾ രണ്ട് രീതിയിലാണ് പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുള്ളത് മണി എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് സോ മണി quantity of money and the supply of money demand for money and supply of money supply of money is controlled by the central bank okay and the demand for money is created by the individuals so here the central bank uh, supply quantity of money ilude endengilum effect economy le undakkanayittu pattilla economy le avare effect ennu parney kenjal real economy le avarku oru oru reethilum central bank ne effect cheyanayittu pattilla um why are their decisions about by creating money effect allengil monetary policy lode real economy ne influence cheyanayite central bank ne pattilla appo ivada nammal parayunnu employment opportunity increase ya size of real gdp amount of real investment idinathonnum central bank ne why monetary policy decision illa central bank ne monetary policy le decisions lode undakkan pattunna nominal variables le changes sambhavikkam pakshe റിയൽ വേരിയബിൾസിനകത്ത് യാതൊരു ചേഞ്ചസും സംഭവിക്കില്ല അപ്പോൾ ഇൻസ്റ്റഡ് എനി ഇൻക്രീസ് ഇൻ ദ സപ്ലൈ ഓഫ് മണി വുഡ് ബി ഓഫ് സെറ്റ് ബൈ എ പ്രൊപ്പോർഷണൽ റൈസ് ഇൻ പ്രൈസസ് ആൻഡ് ഫീച്ചേഴ്സ് ഓക്കെ അപ്പോൾ പാസീവ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ആണ് എപ്പോഴും പാസീവ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ആണ് നമ്മൾ മുമ്പേ പറഞ്ഞു മീഡിയം ഓഫ് എക്സ്ചേഞ്ച് ആണ് ആൻഡ് യൂണിറ്റ് ഓഫ് അക്കൗണ്ട് അതിലപ്പുറമുള്ള ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ക്ലാസിക്കൽസ് മണിക്ക് കൊടുക്കുന്നില്ല നോ ഡൈനാമിക് ഫംഗ്ഷൻസ് വിച്ച് എഫക്ട് ദ ഇക്കോണമി അതുകൊണ്ടാണ് അങ്ങനെ ഒരു 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 വേർഡിങ്സ് അതിനകത്ത് വരുന്നത് നോ ഡൈനാമിക് ഫംഗ്ഷൻസ് വിച്ച് എഫക്ട് ദ ഇക്കോണമി the policy implications of neutrality of money is that inflation rate could be reduced by the right of growth of money stock appo adu kondane ingine oru kaaryathinulla possibility undu okay karanam real variables ne influence illathu undu inflation rate could be reduced by reducing the right of growth of money stock appo quantity of money idagathu endengilum changes sambhavikkanam quantity of money il increasing or decreasing sambhavikkunu Uh, that changes affect the changes in the nominal variables uh, that changes not affect the real variables okay real variables nagathu yadoru change um avada sambhavikkilla nominal variables ne mathramana ee effect undayirikkullu adana neutrality of money konde artham aakunnu alle nammal nerthe parannu neutral in effects on the economy neutrality of money is the idea that changes in money variables do not affect real variables okay real variables parannu po output employment real interest for its effect only happens in the nominal variables a don patent can parade the neutrality of money is a situation when an increase in the quantity of money causes a proportionate increase in the prices of commodities and leaves the right of interest unaffected okay right of interest nammal ivide parnittundayirunnu le right of interest real right of interest is a real variable so don patent can also says he says an increase in the quantity of money causes a proportionate increase in the prices of commodities okay and leaves the right of interest unaffected neutrality of money is considered as a scenario over a long term economic cycles but not over short time periods in the short term uh, changes in the money supply seem to affect real variables like gdp and employment levels 
mainly because of price stickiness and imperfect competition in the markets. Okay, in the short run or in the short term, uh, changes in the money supply seem to affect the real variables like GDP and employment levels because of a price stickiness and imperfect com information in the markets. Non-neutrality of money. It's uh, says by Keynesian. Keynes says that there are unemployment resources in the economy. Money is non-neutral. Thus, a non-neutral effect. Thus, an, an increase in the money supply produces a non-neutral effect on the right of interest. The level of employment, income and output and the right of capital formation. Non-neutral effects under in the parayana uh, and Keynes Paranitra. The classical sense of the Chorotolum, neutrality of money and Keynes in a sample of the Chorotolum, non neutrality of money and neutrality of money in the Paranangel, quantity of money in the Inglim increases some poikanakil. I increase the Kunda Undaguna matum, nominal variables in the Matramana, real variables, like GNP, real interest rate, like GDP, little on them, uh, employment level, little on them, changes some poikin, like changes some poikin other, nominal variables in the Matramana. Actually, they have uh, Keynes the brain is a non neutrality of money, non neutral effects on the right of interest, the level of employment, income and output, and the right of capital formation. So, an increase in the money supply, the interest rate will be lowered, which increases investment, which in turn increases employment, output, and income. Right? So, Keynes say an increase in the money supply, the interest rate will be lowered. Right, which increases investment, which in turn increases employment, output, and income. Right. Money supply increasing that leads to reduce the interest rate or to be lowered the interest rate. Interest rate tharne gari nyal, other investment increase yaane te karamao. Investment increase idal sabhavi item employment generate him, employment enda engil, avade avade output verum, a output. That's why we have to the income generate. Okay. So, when the money supply is increases, that leads to reduce the interest rate, and which in turn increases the investment, that leads to increases the employment and output level, and it also increases the income level also. Okay. So, this is a non-neutrality of money presented by the Keynes. 